It's time, 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 time. She's spilling the tea. This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Now, Tiffany Haddish was on the uh, red carpet at the Vanity Fair's Oscars after party, and somebody asked about her little costume she had on. Did you do a little, a little costume change? Um, I, I'm not wearing a costume. I'm wearing Dolce Gabbana. <laughs> it's called an evening gown, darling. Woo! This is not, no one's paying me for this. I paid for it. It's custom. Thank you. Time of death for me right now. You look gorgeous. This is not an acting gig. This is my life. This what fame look like. This what success look like. This what money look like. This what it look like. A book coming out called This What It Look Like, and I will just read the entire book. That book's not video. coming no time soon, but I curse you with joy will be out in November. Now, I'm t- first of all, drop on the clues bombs for my good sister Tiffany Haddish. I'm going to tell you why that reporter earned that. She earned that. Not by, you know, referring to her outfit as a costume, but by referring to it as a little costume. A little, your little costume. When someone tries to uh, minimize what you're doing, they want to call it little. Your yeah, little and, job you yeah, Your little job you got, your little car your you little driving, car. little outfit little you got on. They, got. Always, they always want to diminish you and minimalize, mi- minimalize you with the word little. And then that's when you got to talk to them and let them know how big you really doing it. Okay? Little costume change. Like that little thing you got in your pants. <sighs> Just, first of all, there's nothing I can do about that. That's what God gave me. So that's a blessing. I'll take my little blessing in the form oh, of my man. penis. But I'm talking about everything else. That reporter okay. was uh, Lauren Zimmer from Entertainment Salute tonight. to Lauren Zimmer. I don't even know if Lauren Zimmer meant to do that, <laughs> but she, she needs either. to understand. You can't refer to anything somebody's doing as a little something. Okay, a little, little costume change. And I don't think she meant anything by it. I'm it, just letting it, her it know. It just feels like that. You can't say little without can't, Don't like minimize my accomplishments by calling them little. Got, that's that little, hate. That little podcast. That little I, That's nah, it. Yeah, that's hate. And I don't even know. I don't even think she was doing that in that moment. But in our culture, that's hate. Them little, that little crib you got. That little car you mm-hmm. got. Now, also, shout out to Jim Jones. Uh, you know, Jim Jones does a drip report where he talks about the weather. Well, he was on Fox 5 New York, and he did the weather segment. Right there, I I usually give you a foot tap, but uh, like I said, we looking like we're in our fifth or sixth winter. It's pretty <laughs> chilly. It's supposed to be spring. Spring is out of here. New York City, you're in the dubs. You're in the twenty. When you're in the twenties, you gotta drop down and get your eagle on, baby girl. Cover that waist front up because it might get a little <laughs> bit chilly. <laughs> uh, the rest of the country looks about chilly. It doesn't get no better for anywhere. Miami's even in the sixties. Uh. You know that's supposed to be beach weather. So what we doing here, people? I don't know who's in charge. Somebody tell me the rules. All jokes aside, salute to Jim Jones. Where is it warm? Where is it warm? <laughs> so where warm? If it's chilly in Miami, where is it warm? Who's in charge, Jim like, Jones? I, was, uh, I don't know. You were talking about people in the Carolinas yesterday. It was like, it's chilly in the Carolinas. Where is it warm? I don't know. I was in L.A. a couple weeks ago. It was chilly. Yeah, where is it warm? I don't know who's in charge. It's Climate change is real, people. Somebody better turn the oven on. You're going to have to open the, oven the door, open the oven door to keep America warm in a second. Well, in some sad news, uh, blackish star Anthony Anderson, uh, his wife has filed divorce and in their 22 year marriage. How sad is that? They met while attending Howard University in Washington, D.C. in 1989. Uh, He dropped out his junior year for financial issues. Uh, He's working this, uh, I think this year or next year, he wants to graduate with his son, but uh, they just filed for divorce. They have two adult children. One is uh, 22 years old and one is 26 years old. So. Shout out to Anthony Anderson. I hope everything uh, is okay. Shout out to that whole family. This is where they need healing energy. Yeah, hey, salute to Anthony Anderson and his wife. I got to stop saying it's horrible, too, when people get divorced because I don't know their situation. You know what I mean? Of mm-hmm. course, you know, to us, we love to see, you know, black love. couples together. We want to see couples stay together forever. But, you know, I don't know what their situation is. So, salute to both of them. Mm-hmm. And lastly, Kanye and Kim Kardashian were spotted together at a Saint soccer match. I know they've been going back and forth on social media, talking about uh, trying to get things together as far as raising their children together. But hopefully this is a step in the right direction. They were seen at the game. They seemed like they were talking. They were going back and forth. Kanye was taking video and pictures, hugging his kids. He seemed like a dad. He seemed like just a dad. He is a dad. Now, that's what I mean. But that's He's what He's always like. been a dad. It just seemed like a comfortable situation. Hopefully they can remain on those same terms. So shout to Kim and Kanye. I don't think those terms have ever been any different, but... You know, well, God bless. He said. he said at times he wasn't able to see his kids and weren't able to go to certain parties. So, mm. well, I mean, God bless both of them. Remember when that uh, Kanye West was dominating the news cycle? That seemed like so long ago now. Yeah. <laughs> it does, right? Yeah, after, after they took his Instagram away, it kind of just went away for a little bit. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that was your rumor report. Now, Charlamagne, who are you giving that donkey to? Listen, no need to even do guess what race it is. 
Four after the hour, two of the craziest vanilla niggas in, the, in Nebraska <laughs> need to come to the front of the congregation. We'd like to have a word with them, okay? All right, and we'll get to that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Good morning.